Hello, my prince. <laughs> it's me. It's a brandy. Uh, hey, so this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January of 2023. You can go to ToriandI.com for your um, personal, if you need. Now, quickly, I was getting something about a blank slate. Um, that it was okay to, it's pretty much showing me like a baby deer being born, like fawn, of uh, taking off on your first steps, but like, you know, stumbling of them trying to find their footing. Um, uh, someone is definitely terrified of being a parent. Oh, what all is that picking up there? Uh, and I mean, that, that could mean so many things, like a new business, uh, babies, relationships, being single. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead. Mmm. Mmm. So we got the Queen of Wands showing up, and as you can tell, she's looking over her shoulder at the past. Right? And it's like she's trying to... Uh, I wanted to focus, but she's got part of a mask that she's like literally taking off. Like, oh, I can be my real self again. You know, like, but then we also have uh, justice in reverse. So that is probably what they were showing me about the, the deer, the baby deer kind of fumbling. Like, oh man, did I make the right choice about walking away? Well, everything I picked up, just, just off this right here, yes, because she's trying to be her complete self, trying to take off that mask. This is more like you don't feel it was the right timing, you don't feel complete, um, and you feel like it was a mistake, but it's not, from what I can tell. I gotta open that door for the baby. So for some reason, my lighting, as you can tell, is... Making noises, I don't know why. But, there's always a symbol for something, isn't there? Hopefully that's not too much for you. Um, four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I just seen that. Alright. That is, don't, like, <laughs> don't think you're going to be able to start over and just start running. Like, I think you're going to have to process some things. You know what I mean? You're going to have to process. Mm. All right, bro. Let's turn it off real quick. Oh, Jesus. Nope. All right, let's just deal. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's an annoying thing. And it's like, you just got to learn how to deal. <laughs> We're just going to, yeah. Careful now, Creed. Okay, am I doing... We have the Two of Pentacles. Decisions. That's why they want you to take a moment. This is about uh, what you're going to do. Like, your, your, your support system. Like, you don't want to rush it. You want to take a minute. You got a lot to process. And this is like, oh, slow down. You know, you're, you're trying to make a blank slate. You're trying to create something new. You don't know what you're going to do. Maybe you're trying to do too much right now. And that's why they just want you to be like, you know, don't be fumbling all over yourself. Um, there is something here about being very ex excited about what you've learned in the process of this blank slate for you to start a new job or to bring this into form for like finances they they want you to finish dealing with your repressed emotions first so for it's like something is definitely hiding that your talent is there could be psychic gifts uh yeah okay um the ten of wands and the sun just flipped out on me come on now Okay, this is just letting me know right there. It's like, 
something you thought would make you happy in the past actually overstressed you, you overextended yourself, and therefore you ended up in this position. You don't want to do that again. So they're saying, slow down, cowboy. Slow down. Not every... And everything is done in a day, bro. <laughs> and everything is done in a day. Okay. This is creativity. Um, fresh romance. Why is it not wanting to focus? <sighs> oh, hey. Hey there. Okay. That's the Five of Pentacles showing up. Seven of Pentacles and Strength. Okay. Yeah, something didn't go fast. Like, this relationship or this partnership, whatever, this friendship, whatever you want to call it for your own. It become addictive for you to be around them every day and you didn't know how to handle it when you weren't, when they weren't part of your routine, like in your life. It's louder there. Okay, whatever. And that is, it's like you're wanting to go back, but they're trying to let you see that you weren't able to be your real self there. Or, um like contribute uh your talents or something there as much as you you could at this new phase but you're trying to run because you don't really like to be stagnant but that's how you're gonna <sighs> really discover this talent that's been laid dormant you know what i mean what's going on there oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay Yeah, you are not in touch with your body, your health, your emotions. They're out of whack. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of like you are shoving a lot out. Seven, seven of wands here. Okay. You're not wanting to be receptive. Again, though, here's this mask. God bless. Work with me. There's that mask on the corner of the couch and it's like she she feels exposed without whatever this was okay without this being a personal you know how this general goes but this person feels very exposed and is letting it affect their mental and their emotional health instead of just stepping out into the world for the blank slate that spirit has like given or the circumstances have given Cutting out the BS soon, okay, that dependency and stuff, you're soon going to see that you're way better off and that they created this, this block, this, this whole block on you. And you'll see that soon. You'll literally see that within a few weeks. Just right now, you're not able to. Right now, you don't want to. You would rather live this comfortable lie that they kind of suppressed you into rather that's job family member whatever it, it wasn't you and that's why things like Pluto and Venus came in right some yep yeah okay I'm asking what you need to let go of that is the seven of swords and the ace of cups Lying to yourself about how emotionally fulfilling something was. Lying to yourself about how something emotionally fulfilling was. Soon you're going to see. It just feels manic right now where you're going to be like, oh, I don't have to run this by them. This is my idea. I don't have to run this by them. This is fantastic.
Let's see where some of these areas are affecting. I'm going to pull three. You will witness a miracle in the making. Do not lose faith. That's just an overall. Do you mind, you madre? <laughs> there we go. Jesus Almighty all the way through. Your ancestors and guides are walking with you. They are assisting you to release your need to struggle. Uh, I don't know if they're going to give me like a general area or not, but I mean, this is real. Mercury retrograde. In a relationship over miscomprehended inf information. Uh, needing to let things rest. It's a time of poor choices. Your schedule and travel will be delayed, which we kind of figured that out. Because your blocked emotions are trying to purge themselves by showing the phantom symptoms, which is the emotional and mental health. I'm going to do this one because it's on top. The individual success comes through expressing your individuality and working independently to lead the way. So there are so many scenarios here, right? You keep sitting with the past and the past is just dragging and keeping you stuck. But there's something about next September. Um, you're going to be very, very happy that you made some type of decision to like wait it out. And not take care of everything at once. Let's see. One message for Libra. To leave on note. Creatrix, where are you, bro? Oh, there you are, Sissy. Are you okay? She just got spayed today. So when you book a reading with me, you are literally saving lives. All goes to feeding strays and fixing them when I can. Because it's very expensive. Number 40. Beauty. Okay. I'm going to read that. For you, Libra. Uh, my rising is Libra. So I'm going to have to really pay attention to this message later. What the hell does it mean? <laughs> For me. Okay. Every rose has its thorns. That's what it, literally what it says. It reminds you that beauty is never perfect. Just as the beautiful experience you have will not be perfect forever. That facade that I was telling you about. When you revel in the beauty that is true, you can look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you are already perfect as you are. When you choose this, it's a sign that beauty is all around you and to keep a positive attitude. Expect wonderful things and they will come to you. See yourself as beautiful and know that beauty is not skin deep. It includes qualities that lie well beneath the surface. Look for this true beauty in others as well and always look beyond appearances. And that being said with the mask and wanting to hide, is someone just not okay with aging? Okay, I get it, <laughs> but we all have to. It's more about making it work, sticking with who you are, not trying to blend in. You know what I mean? And you'll be okay, <laughs> I promise. All right, catch you later.